Hi, hello, everyone. Greetings, everyone all over the world. This is Blessings Shalufia and uh, this is Blessy TV. I greet you all. If you are in the US, if you are in the UK, if you are in Canada, everywhere, China, um, India, everywhere, all over the world. So, we get deep into what I would love to say. And this is the thing. What I want to tell you is you have to stop doubting yourself. Okay? Stop, stop, stop doubting yourself. What makes you to doubt yourself? You are in a good state where you are. But you should not stop being or getting inspired by other people's success or growth. Okay? So stop. This is my message for you. Stop doubting yourself you are beautiful you are handsome you are cute you are great in the way you are already the bible says that you are wonderfully made does it mean that the bible has lied no no you are beautiful you are handsome yes so you don't need to downgrade yourself because you see other people's success or you are seeing other people doing better than you are at that level you can even do also, you can you also can do exactly as they can or, or as they have done or as they are doing i always say life you know there's something in the inside of you that if you don't act if you don't get up and do it you will not discover you will not know you will not know you will not discover so the thing that you have to do is you need to get up and act the same thing that you are admiring in your friend or in your colleagues your neighbors or anybody surrounding you it's in the inside of you if you 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 have the same blood i always say I've, i like to say this term when we these words when we cut ourselves okay when we cut ourselves color your blood the pinky the blue it's red as long as there's that commonality of the same color of blood there's something that the other person can do you too can if other people are able to do that thing or those things you too can stop doubting yourself that you are you you, you can't do it you are not a failure you are not lazy you just need to get up and start doing what is right you are talented you have that gift you are attractive enough but why do you want to just put yourself or downgrade yourself or belittle yourself and say you can't do it some of you are like ah if you know fi ne fi e twa di pela o twa di fika tamula fika ndume yandi ngashi yandi you have not yet reached and nobody will ever reach we all keep thriving to being better people or better persons. So, stop doubting yourself. It could be maybe, for example, in my home country, you you rewrite if you if you failed grade twelve, you don't have five all levels. You go back and make sure you have those five all levels. Or that five all levels through GCE. I know many other times that other people will be like, 
I've written this mathematics for a long time, for many times. This, I've tried to reduce to credit these and these subjects, but I, I have tried. There's nothing that is happening. I have tried, but with these things, and keep trying, keep trying. Failing is part of success story. If you don't fail, you, you, you have no track record. You have no track record. So in that thing, tell yourself, you can do it. There are other people who, who if Thomas Edson had to, uh, had to fail, I don't know how many times, I don't want to say the number because but you know that he had failed and, and many times. Okay? He had failed many times for him to just come up with that bulb. What about you? So stop doubting yourself. If it means getting back to school, go back to school. Start from the, the grade, maybe where you know you 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 have maybe uh what's this? You'll be able to 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 acquire that knowledge and confident. You'll be confident to to write your grade twelve. Others maybe it could be you have you. It's a long time that you finished your 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 maybe your nursing career, your teaching career, or other careers but you've not yet been, been deployed and you have told yourself i think i'm done you are not done my sister you are not done my brother find something to do find something to do bend a little okay bend a little because you come from a beautiful family bend a little if it means starting afresh starting from from just from zero start again don't doubt yourself you can do it. That school, I know maybe it's you're in doctor, you, you, you are in uh, uh, studying, uh, uh, you are a medical doctor in training, or I don't know, engineer or whatsoever, and then you, keep, you, you are not doing well in school. And then you just say, I'm done. You are not done. Do it again. Who knows? Maybe you have to do that again, inviting Jesus. It could be that maybe the Jesus factor is, or the God factor is missing in what you're doing. Invite him. So you are enough. Stop doubting yourself. This is the word that I have for you. The youths, stop doubting yourself. Find something to do. Hmm? If you are the one, maybe you, 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 you are a marketeer. My one. Stop doubting yourself. The same kalembula. Eh? If you with your fee name, Muleshtisha. That business you are in, yeah, rice, see, nikuna konde mulaya, nikuisa, you go maybe to Dubai, Tanzania, and other uh, outside China, you know, you do that traditional business. Stop doubting yourself. There's always a starting point to everything. Just because your neighbor, neighbor's business is established doesn't mean that you cannot do it. Well, you can. You can. Because you have that ability in the inside of you. You have that power. Just discover it. Discover your strength. Who knows maybe there's just one inch to, to your success. Or maybe to overcoming what you have been not been doing good okay so don't let uh life push you down i know life hits us hard you are <laughs> life will hit you but it is up to you to get up don't remain on the ground winners never quit you, you'll be knocked down, yes, but you have to get up. Have that self-confidence. Stop doubting yourself. You say, because I didn't do that, because that, because that, you just keep, you just keep complaining. Stop. 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 Instead, find a solution by having the self-motivation, self-confidence, confidence, you know. So, you, 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 are, you are enough. That talent that you have, that gift that you have, you can do 
tremendous things with that. You can do exploit. Just discover them all. Yes, discover them all. If it means going on Google, studying or go, buying books, do yourself something. Go an extra mile to discovering yourself the more by studying. It could be material books, even, even the word of God. You find things there. It will teach you. You have you gain self-confidence from the Bible. Because if you are told you are wonderfully made, and then mumu timayode uweba awe nena ine, aha kwena na ribipa. You always tell you inena ine chi voice, inena ine enfi, you just don't, but, you know, you don't need to do that. Speak to yourself something good, okay? So remember, you have your own race to run. You don't need to compare yourself to anybody. This journey we are living in, it's you versus you. Either you versus you and or you versus God. In fact, let me put it this way. It is you versus God because God is the one who directs you because God is the one who gives you ideas how to do this, how you, you will guide you and plus the Holy Spirit inside of you you are definitely going to make it. Be happy, of course, for, for, for your friends, for, for other people who are doing well, they reach faster at that level where you want to be or where you are aiming to be, they reach faster. faster. Clap for them until it's your turn. Keep clapping for other people. They win because when they win, you win. Their win is their, it's your win. You'll be motivated. But if they fail, you'll be like, ah, I wanted to do that. But she has failed. He has failed. I think it's not mine. But when you see that person win or do better and best in that field, you are going to be motivated. Clap for them. Message them. Congratulations. Congratulate them. Because when it will be your turn, you'll be celebrated. So have your own race. Set goals. Set targets. Give your t yourself a time frame. By this time and this time and this time, I will be done. Like that, you will gain more confidence. And you will stop doubting yourself. Because mainly, doubt will come when you have no goal, you have no vision, you have no purpose, you've never discovered anything about you. But yet, but yet those things are in the inside of you. You don't need to die with those things. Die empty. Die empty. Offload. Discover. If it means it's taking, uh, you need you need to get into prayer for you to discover those things. You have to. I know there are some of the things that people will just tell us. Only oh, you are good in this thing. Oh, you are good in that thing. And then you black. Like, oh, gosh, not this. Let me try. And then before you know it, boom. There are times that people will tell us, okay? People will tell us um, whom we are. Sometimes they are the ones who will be able to see. And then when we need boy, someone will be. Okay? I'll give me an example myself. There are a couple of things that uh, uh, I, I was back years back. I, was, I knew to say, I can do this, I can do that, I can do... But the singing part, okay? The singing part, I just knew that I can sing a little, a little, yes. And I didn't even just take it seriously. And uh, sometimes during assemblies, uh, on, on Mondays, you have that, you know, time when you when you are the, maybe a class is chosen to, to to present a song and all that i'll be picked ah she's you are going to do it and sometimes even scripture union you'll be picked to maybe to lead a praise a, a worship song and all that and you did you don't take it seriously i didn't really i didn't really take that seriously until years back when prophecies started coming prophecies started coming different men and women of god started saying the same thing you can sing you can do that this and that this i was like oh okay so i started capitalizing on those things that uh i was told and through prayer also i got the convictions to the 
to say, I can do this, I'm set. Before I knew it, the things that I was doing were in line with my purpose. Before I knew it, I fully now knew why I was born. I fully knew what I was born for. I fully knew what I would be able to sacrifice my whole into. What I'll be ready or what I'm ready to die for, for me to deliver. For the kingdom of God. Or for God's kingdom. I knew. I knew. I knew. So even in those fields, sometimes you would even feel weary, you feel tired, you feel, but as long as it's your purpose, that's what you are born for. You never get tired, but keep going, keep moving, keep, yes, sometimes you have not, you, you have bad days, like you have times to cry, you'll be hit that, you'll be disappointed, you'll be betrayed, you'll be, but stop doubting yourself. Those things come to strengthen us keep going if you have discovered your purpose keep going with that purpose that vision keep going set those goals keep with that time frame keep going share with the people whom you know are going to help you or will be in support because this journey is sometimes a lonely journey you just need somebody to share oh i i had this this is what I'm what I'm trying to do and all that and all that thing. You'll be guided at least here and there. You take those uh, advices and you take them also in prayer. You pray and then before you know it, you have that confidence. You are bored and you are coming out strong. Why are you doubting yourself? Stop. If it means seeking counsel, go to your pastor. Go to, the, to that woman of God. Go. It, sometimes it's not even doesn't even take a pastor or a, 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 a woman of God or anything like that. Even just the people who are not in, in, in ministry, like per se, you'll be guided. Because you can learn from anywhere and from, from ev, ev, anyone. As long as it's not something that will be able to destroy your vision or your purpose. So remember, run your own race. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Don't compare yourself to any person your race is, is, is someone's it's is, is not their race okay you've got your different flavor they've got their different flavor but we're serving one god it is all as long as you know that this what i'm doing is contributing to the kingdom of god stay at it be consistent you might not be appreciated but stay at it Stop doubting yourself that you're going to demand to share. If it stop, stop. When you have that conviction that you can do it, when you have that conviction that this is what I was born for, my dear sister, do me and whatsoever that it takes, do it. Okay. So God knew what it what it would take. Um, and what it would be uh, for you, um, what it would be for you, we need to run this race. So, you need that equip. You you have to be equipped. Like I touched a little bit at the beginning. Sometimes you, you need, pretty bit sometimes, we keep learning. So, you need sometimes materials, videos, that, that, for you to stay at it. For you to keep doing it okay so um you have to to learn to celebrate other people's success and uh, also as you embrace yours at that particular time you don't need to look down on yourself because oh i wasn't this and that no you have to stop learn to accept yourself accept yourself love yourself appreciate your skin Appreciate your body, whether you are tall, whether you are short, whether you are shy. In the kingdom of God, distinction. No, accept yourself. There will be no segregation. Love yourself in that body. Love yourself. 
this reminds me there are times when I just get on my pictures and I just lavish myself and I tell myself how I how I feel about myself I tell myself I love this girl I love I love I love this girl she is my oxygen she is my heartbeat she is you know I will tell myself all that I don't need you don't need to wait to be told tell yourself don't that you are beautiful you are handsome you'll be frustrated so why can't you go in the mirror and look into the mirror and say I love this girl she is beautiful I love how you are bored about your life I love the spirit that you have I just love you you are you are amazing your heart melts me Thank you for accepting me. You are telling yourself that. Because many other times that, especially Mr. Fela, they, they hate themselves. Hmm? Because now mkwata ko mchene. Because now mkwata ko. Just work on yourself. If it's self-hygiene, it's self-hygiene. Because it's self-hygiene. Buy some raw on. Buy some perfume. Eh? You know, you are smelling good. You're looking good. In within your means, I'm not talking of looking good. Pan fiamule amu stepping to my boutique. Nasha na pasa laula. Sali zi su masari's boutique. You be unique. You be unique. So my sister, my brother, take up mukka fifty kwacha koke ni mukote. Oh, I don't know what currency you 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 can use. Go. To buy second-hand uh, uh, clothes, wash them, iron them, look good, smell good. You know, and I'm not saying it's always bad. Sometimes, and then you just go in the mirror, and then you know, you tell yourself. Sometimes it doesn't even take makeup. Come on, be the makeup. It's not. It's not every time. You know. So, appreciate yourself. Accept yourself because you are beautiful. You are great. Your personality, work on it. Have good attitude when you are interacting with people. God knows why you were born like that. You might have a disability in one way or another. Maybe physically. You know, the, maybe tamule infection and you could tamkwete you mona. You know, there's just that physical disability on your body. And then from that time, maybe you were not born like that. It could be an accident, you, your your leg was cut or your arm was cut and all that, and from there you doubted yourself and told yourself. I can't do this anymore. Chapwa, for me, this is death. I would rather even die. Don't say that. Don't say that. As long as you are breathing, there's a purpose for you. Just accept yourself. Accept your personality. Whether you come from a, a, from a poor family, from a medium family, from a rich family, any family accept yourself because there will be no other family as yours you are born in that unique beautiful family hmm? just because maybe when growing up or even now you are missing some meals some of you are eating maybe one two meals in a day other people are even eating having four or five meals in a day nama snacks and all that and then you think i, I think tula chula chula film tamua chula Find something to do. Nganibu ka piyangi lila. Kavie ni mu piyange. Nganibu house help. Go, my brother. Go, my sister. And do that. Raise some money. If you, if, you know, you. I talked about bending a little. Sometimes the way life is, you might, you, you can have a vision. You can have a goal. Or goals. But, at that particular time, you, you cannot have enough money or resources 
to facilitate or to to sponsor your 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 purpose or your vision or anything that you have planned to do but what you what do you what are you supposed to do start little start slow start small and grow if it means raising money for you to go to school start as a house help do that kabombe rilinga ni vukaboi kabombe ngafito mbuko kupanga kabiyo shitishe ganito uto kushitisha ngamala sha any business do something and then you are you are you are saving investing saving until that time now you will be able now to do to 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 do your your to to to, to do your what you're supposed to do that is your vision or your purpose and then even as you are doing that god is seeing that god is seeing your heart is seeing your heart tetsa kulekereshe elo tetsa mirekereshe even when he's going to, when he's saying i think uh, this is not let me show up for my son she's been saving in this church for 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 so many years he's been saving he's, you know let me remember my daughter let me remember my son before you know it destiny help us start you know following looking for you so you don't need to to think that you are a nobody no you don't need to you don't need to question god that maybe why am i made this why was i born in this family or anything like that ah way so god does not make a mistake you are born in that family uh for 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 a purpose just uh know that you can do something different and extraordinary okay so be assured that you have everything you need to fulfill your destiny hey yes because it's in the inside of you temuli bana kantwa temuli it's in the inside of you you have it you were born with it i know other things you discover them as we go but you were born with something inside of you and you have to be assured that you have everything and i mean everything so you don't need to sell yourself to people and allow them to maybe control you and uh, maybe to to use you like i said clap for them be inspired and all that but stop just what i'm telling you is to stop comparing yourself to anybody you are unique you have to be yourself you are amazing in that state you are amazing you are amazing so stop doubting yourself okay stop wishing you were them but accept yourself you don't need to <laughs> you might be saying i wish ngana aliko nga chirufia i wish ngana aliko na blessing z i wish ngana aliko na na, na balo i wish i was like you know baraka i wish i was like benedict i wish i was like you know you don't know the battles people are fighting in silent or in silence you don't know people will smile they wake up in the morning and put on a smile they look in the mirror get out from uh, out of their homes and their offices and they 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 are they are they're happy they're smiling but in the night mofilamba their pillows are wet because they are crying all night long when others are sleeping and then you are comparing yourself to that person do you know the battles they are fighting do you know the conditions they are going through do you know the diseases they've been having that have not shared to anybody else do you know the challenges that the person you are admiring if you let them do you know you don't know so why wishing you were like them don't wish you were like anybody else because not everybody um is able to to do what to share what they are going through people are fighting battles silently and they choose to smile why because the good thing is they have life now bakwato mweo they are breathing okay so you don't need to wish you were like them you need just to accept um yourself least you you is you forget yourself least you forget who you are okay and i wouldn't love that to happen to you so um you have to know that uh there are miracles in the inside of you okay there are seeds in the inside of you 
you just need to water them you water them as and they start germinating by watering them like i said uh, i'm ashamed of discovering what you have if it means reading books start, start doing what it takes to um um to do what start doing what it takes to 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 to, to have that vision uh be executed okay so you have those miracles in, in the inside of you you have you can multiply that by um by uh nurturing them okay watering them it's 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 all dependent on you your the life is 100 percent your responsibility okay so take advantage of what you have first before you ask for god for something big Moebambi, you just want to ask god for more yet you are not ready even to pour out to others you are not ready even to help somebody in that uh, little that you have but you're asking for more so before you ask god for more before you ask for something uh, bigger make sure how have you used that thing that you have at that particular time how have you used it that money that god gave you how have you used it that opportunity that god opened for you or the doors that opened for you how have you related with those people so far have you bent uh, bent bridges have you rebelled you have to check yourself so before you ask for something bigger from god see to it that you check yourself this god, god gave me this voice if i tried to sing if i tried to minister in church if i tried to serve god gave me this this uh um um what's this talent um and I, I do maybe poet have you tried to do that have you tried to be a carpenter or maybe doing art doing some drawings maybe it could be even just for fun you know just for within your circle the, your circles it could be that maybe you are a uh you 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 this you know there's always something unique in the inside of us you can sing you can play keyboard you can you can you you, you maybe you are you've got those skills you are a good planner and then you're asking god for more i don't think so he's going to give you more if you don't pour so before you ask for more from god see to it that you pour out because even you know by pouring out as you pour out you are gaining more and that's why even uh, confidence will come because he will give you more and you stop doubting yourself so you have to uh, be able to remember even the story of um, uh, prophet uh, elisha and, the, and that widow okay um all she had was just a little flower but what did she do she had to use what she had and god had to to do more or to perform more okay so god is not limited by your level of education by the level of of where you're coming from no whether in grade seven lesala won't fear whether in grade nine lesala won't fear whether you you, you you god can use anything he's not limited by your background or level of education no he can use anything to bless you to lift you to you know to work in you if you avail yourself and and uh, and uh, be able to uh, to be open-minded because opportunities will come from any anywhere and from anybody as long as you're open-minded so he wants um all he all he wants is you to accept yourself and embrace what you have and trust him and allow him to lead you and you have that confidence and you are going to do tremendous things significant things exploits yes you will be able to do that yeah so um god will never ask um from you something that is uh that you don't have no he will not so just have that confidence stop doubting yourself you can do it if it's farming go start a po start a, a pottery farm start start a fishing farm start start something 
start something you are enough as long as you have jesus okay so god has placed something significant something prominent in the inside of you you just have to discover yes you just have to discover and see to it that you do it wholeheartedly don't let the enemy or the devil intimidate you because you are coming from maybe a humble beginning or family they are not so rich and all that whether you are rich or what it's the same heaven so just strive to be better and to be best okay what what you are uh, you have to 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 look at your life as um you as an extraordinary and uh, you need to master the keys to open that which is in the inside of you so just unlock that which is in the inside of you okay so i had to run run uh so that i just offload uh these things and bless you people so please 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 stop doubting yourself stop doubting yourself if you're not sure about maybe what you're supposed to do get back in uh, to the altar in the closet pray ask the holy spirit sometimes like i said uh, you'll be guided you'll be just told ah, you you can you are a good painter you know you are a good this you are a good that you are good that maybe you are good in this you you try that and as you try you are praying and until god until the holy spirit will reveal to say this is what i wanted you to do all along and then you find even your confidence and your safety in that and then you pick it up like that so stop doubting yourself my brother my sister stop doubting yourself this has been your girl blessings so i just brought this message to bless you to uplift you to inspire you to encourage you okay and to motivate you because many other times that especially youths they are in that state of because i don't have this my friend has that uh, you know we, we since we're not at the same level uh, then there's nothing good about me no stop doubting yourself what your friend has you can have it tomorrow and vice versa so share this video kindly share this video to your brothers your sisters anybody whom you think has that low self-esteem and um, but deep down your heart you know that ah uh, if blessings can just trigger this or can do this and that can do this and that it's it's all done then share to your friends to your colleagues to your workmates you know to your to your to your classmates anybody who's surrounding you you are going to rescue someone's life because who knows maybe at this same moment you are you are watching this video someone is contemplating on having a suicide because of maybe they have not accepted whom they are because they say they are not beautiful they are not handsome oh me i'm fat oh me i'm this oh me i'm that you tell them that they are beautiful in that same state they should just accept themselves and allow god to lead them in that status or state they are in okay so it's a bye-bye for now however before i go i always love to say this if you do not know christ if you do not know jesus christ if he is not in your heart and in your life as the as as your lord and personal savior hell is real you have to aim at uh your name being written in the book of life so let me just lead you in the salvation prayer who knows that maybe when you when you have jesus christ in the inside of you that is when you are even going to discover yourself the more that is when you are going to stop doubting yourself that is when you are going to 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 to, to get rid of that self-confidence and you are going to completely um uh be rescued from that depression that is causing you um uh that you, you that you are having so open up your heart jesus is calling you he loves you he wants you and he is here to save you so just lift up your hands and uh, just be positive and open your heart say lord jesus i come to you i come to you 
I have heard this message. I have heard this message. It is not by mistake. I open up my heart. Save my soul. Save me. Forgive me from every sin that I've committed. Wash me in your precious blood. I welcome you in my heart. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way as I accept you. Lead me. Guide me. I choose to walk with you. And you walk with me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So, welcome to the kingdom of God. You are welcome, my brother, my sister. Now, this is what you are supposed to do. Yes, you have been hearing maybe your neighbors, church, uh, the, the, the churches that may be in the nearest area where you are, and then maybe you don't have a church, find a church where you'll be able to, to go and learn deeper word, a Bible-believing church where you'll be taught the truth from the Bible and uh, how you are going to lead this life. Okay, because this life, a Christian journey, you cannot do it alone. You will need guidance from physical men. You cannot do it alone. You need a physical man. The Holy Spirit, of course, is going to guide you. Is going to protect you. Is going to teach you the deeper things in the inside, which, which are in the inside of you. And then you are there are going to germinate. But you need guidance on how you are going to step by step grow in those and with those so you need men to guide you if it means finding something to serve in church discover that do that go to church fellowship is very very pertinent so let us do that welcome to the kingdom of god we love you and i love you i appreciate you watching this video please please share the gospel hallelujah this has been your girl blessings thank you so much for watching and i truly truly appreciate remember stop doubting yourself because you are beautiful you are handsome and you have all what it takes to be where you want to to be i love you and take care bye bye for now